On May 4th, 2023, six of the vets of Kansas City went to the NCM track. Here are the drivers and passengers in that order. Larry and Ann. Whitney and Pam. Tim and Debbie. Dave and Dana. Jim and Trish. Danny hitched a ride with C8 driver and Patty was the official observer. Here we are lining up to get on the track. The C8 led the first two cars and the Camaro led the last three cars. Here is Dave and Dana followed by Jim and Trish. Here is Whitney and Pam followed by Tim and Debbie. In these two pictures you can see the National Corvette Museum in the background. The Red C6 is supercharged with way past 600 horsepower at the rear wheels. The pace car is tuned just enough to keep up with the C8. This is where we got started with the C8 pulling out first, followed by the pace car and the silver Z06. The Camaro is the other lead car and will wait until the first group starts off giving them about a 15 to 20 second head start before they take the second group on the track. At this point I'm just going to let the video run so you, you can get some idea of how you get on the track at NCM. This video also has the Cawsworth toolbox which comes up later and gives you a good idea of where you are on the track and what speed you can hit in many of the corners. They advise you to run in sport mode with traction control and active handling on and that's to keep you out of trouble. They start you out at the end of the straightaway so when you begin to get on the track you have a few curves at slower speeds to get started and get those tires warmed up so you have better traction. The track in this configuration is 3.15 miles. The straightaway is near the end of that first lap so it gives your tires time to warm up so you can make that corner at the end of the straightaway. Next up is the pace car following the C8. In this next view we switch over to the Cosworth Toolbox. Cosworth Toolbox is a free software download that reads all of the data points, tire temperatures, engine temperature, oil temperature on your car. It also tracks your GPS location and it has a map that shows you where you are on the track at all times. The only way I can show you the Cosworth Toolbox in action is to take a video of my laptop playing the software on the screen while I was running on the track. At this point on the track you have to swing wide and cut your speed down to about 30 to 32 so you can hook this corner.
We have now completed one lap on the track. They actually give you four laps. So now we'll go on to our second group who's just starting now. Right after we pass the two trees on the right, watch for a watchtower coming up and we'll switch to the Cosworth toolbox right now. Here's that turn where you have to swing wide so you can hook to the left.
Here's where the lead car signals that it's time to get off the track. Although we only showed one and a half laps, this was uh, how you get off the track at the end of your four laps. Okay, now we've done that. <laughs> I don't think we need to anymore. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm... That's two good tracks. Oof. i got to see what the temperature is in this thing. I bet it's... Get to that. Stop recording here in a bit. Wow. That was fun. Huh? That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> I was hanging on for dear life. Yeah, well, I was hanging on the steering wheel with both hands. <laughs> <laughs> Drive with both hands. Yeah. Back it up here and I just walk. Oh, okay. 